Axonometric Projection 1 Axonometric projection is a method of drawing an object in isometric without the use of isometric scale. The aim of this exercise is to explain the concept of axonometric projection and the terms associated with it. This is a model of three planes. The red one is the horizontal plane and the blue and the yellow are two vertical planes. When we go to set up axonometric projection we have to set up the isometric axis. This axis here from the centre out of 30 degrees is isometric axis X. This axis in this direction is isometric axis Z and it's drawn at 30 degrees. And the vertical axis is isometric axis Y. What we have here is the drawing of the development of this blue surface. So as we look at that blue surface, that's what we see there. The yellow line there represents the yellow surface and the red line represents the red surface. So that's the yellow surface and it's represented with that yellow line and this red surface is represented by that red line there. And this plane is called the XY plane because this is the Y axis and this is the X axis and therefore the plane is referred to as the XY plane. This plane here, the red plane, that's looking directly down on it. It's the development of the horizontal plane. So the blue surface here is indicated by this blue line and the yellow line represents the yellow surface. The plane is called the XZ plane because this is the x-axis and this is the z-axis. And this plane over here is the development of the yellow surface. So when we look in this direction, we see the true shape of surface yz. This blue line represents the blue surface and the red line here represents the red surface. This plane is referred to as the Y is Z plane because that's the Y and that's the Z axis. This here is the axonometric plane. It's an equilateral triangle and if I place it on top of the other three surfaces the line between the axonometric plane and that blue surface the XY plane is referred to as the axonometric trace on the XY plane. This is the axonometric trace on the XZ plane and this line here is the axonometric trace on the YZ plane. These three triangles are isosceles right angle triangles. This angle is always 90 degrees and this line is equal to this line. So this triangle is an isosceles right angle triangle as these two are.